have a Nintendo Switch, the high class club sandwich of video game consoles. But they forgot to take out the pickles. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of Nintendo, and I really like the Switch, but that doesn't mean it can be improved. And whether we're talking about this, this, or or this, I thought it would be fun to come up with some ideas that would make the Nintendo Switch a tad bit more spicy. So, any questions? <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, actually. Why the f*** is there a time machine? <coughs> so here's how Nintendo can fix everything wrong with the Switch. But just to let you all know, in case you don't like what I'm saying or disagree with my ideas, just try and keep in mind that- Oh god! Getting the obvious one out of the way. Where's the goddamn web browser? The Switch not even letting you- Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set, you're going surfing on the internet. Or watch Netflix. Makes it feel less like an entertainment system, and more like a Smash Bros machine, which is fine. But not if you wanted to watch Madagascar Escape to Africa. Sure, if we ask Reggie, he'll probably say, What's wrong with you? And tell us to use our smartphones for a browser just like voice chat. But you see, Reggie, my argument against that is... <laughs> But then, if this did actually end up happening, I probably wouldn't even use it that often. It's more of just a nice thing to have. You know, like, similar to how I might want people around, not to engage in a conversation with them like a decent human being, but just to have people around. Come on, Nintendo, even refrigerators have web browsers. I'm pretty sure it would be pretty straightforward to get one on the Switch. Cheers, Link. And now that Netflix is on the Switch, I can finally sit back, relax, and watch some Madagascar escape to Africa. No! I'd also love it if Nintendo finally added some themes. Like, please. P please. When I first got my Switch and went into the settings and saw that themes was an option, I thought it was so damn cool th that you could change the color. But then you find out that there's only two options, black and white, and then I'm over here thinking, Where's Hispanic? Making an entire option just for two basic colors is kind of like if an ice cream truck only served vanilla and black vanilla. If they were only going to have two simple colors and nothing else, a simple dark mode like what Twitter has would have made much more sense. Now, if they did eventually add more themes, which please, how would they go around it? Now, if the big boys over at Nintendo wanted to do something absolutely insane, themes could be unlocked by using these guys. I mean, when you think about it, the Joy-Cons are already one way to customize your Switch, so why don't they double, double down? down? Hey, you want a yellow themed? Go ahead, slap on the yellow Joy-Cons and, and have yourself a good time. Yo, you want a red and brown com color thing? That looks disgusting, but, but there you go! And hey, the, the same system could work for games. You want a Mario skin? Slot in the cartridge for Mario Odyssey. You want Breath of the Wild as your background? Uh, just chuck in that cartridge of yours. Look how pretty that looks, that's very nice. And then, you know, you could switch Joy-Cons with your friends to unlock even more themes, or you could be in Nintendo's best interest and just buy more. <laughs> but I know this is probably way too much to ask for, but at the very least, we could just get some basic colors like blue, Red. And all of green! And then you have a bunch of people asking for folders to be added to the Switch. But who wants that? Folders are for nerds! <laughs> Alright, fine. Folders would be cool, I guess. But I'd much prefer having something like a little tab on the menu to change the order of your games. Like, that would be much more useful to me. And it would give you so many different options. Like, you could organize by name, by playtime, or, or by love of Italian cuisine! I feel like, uh... I like there's a lot of race jokes. Oh god, not again! Now this next point is really subjective, but to me, Nintendo's menu music adds a ridiculous amount of personality to their consoles. Like, listen here! All this music has way more charm than it needs to be. And Jesus Christ, I love it. Like, imagine if this video didn't have any music. There's only one word that could describe what that reality would be like. Now, to be fair, Nintendo has said that the Switch's menu takes up a teeny weeny file size, so it's probably really unlikely that they would add music in order to keep the Switch running as smooth as possible. But look at how soulless and eerie making Mies is now. 
So the eShop doesn't have any cool music or that much personality at all. But I mean, apart from that, it's really, it's, it's not that bad. Oh! Okay, this probably deserves an explanation. So Switch Online has a bunch of issues, but actually fixing them is pretty straightforward. Add messaging and invites, remove frame codes, dedicated servers. To be honest, I only care about this one because I just really want to play a four minute game of Smash that lasts no longer than four minutes. And even though that doesn't sound like much, that would probably make the online service 10 times better. But then there's the phone app, because Nintendo wants you to use this in order to speak to your friends. And to be honest, I don't see a problem with this. I mean, a lot of people have been complaining about it, so I guess there's one little alteration they could make. So, those are my ideas. Any questions? Uh, yeah, actually, what I asked last time. Why the f is there a time machine? さて諸君、2年後のWiiU発売数はゴミだ。今はどうにか新しいゲーム機を作らなければいけない。誰か新しいゲーム機の発想はないのか。お前は誰だ。ゲームパカ。オブ3557/2018。Nintendo online infrastructure and system. I am here today to tell you his proposal. この人、俺英語話せないの知らないのか? Fuck. Hey you, yeah, you, that's where I'm, I'm speaking to you. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for so much for watching the video. Uh, if you disagree with any of my points or want to add to anything, uh, comment, comment below and, and <laughs> let me know. Big ol' thanks to my friend Kurt Ritchie, aka Kurt Ritchie, <laughs> and Dynamoto, aka Chris, for doing some fantastic lines for the video. Uh, it really made it a lot better, so I can't thank them both enough, so make sure you go and check them out. And cheers to my pal Ivan Animated, let me reference his own video with, with that ending skit. Also, huge thanks to all my patrons, uh, Thank you so much for supporting me, and thanks for all this crazy cool art from all you guys. Uh, it's really awesome whenever I see it, so thank you so much for that as well. And with that, I will see you guys at VidCon London, because I'm going there, yeah.